right, what I'd like to do is share with you guys how we use the equine ration formulator. This is the Google folder that all of my teaching spreadsheets are in. I do ask that anyone that is downloading and using these spreadsheets, please open the README file first, because um, that's going to talk you through how to make a copy and move it to your own folder, and also give you the link to the instructional playlist. So what we're going to do is in the equine ration formulator, um, I've got a single copy of it and then the original. This is the original file. In fact, I'm going to trash that one right now. And this equine ration formulator, what you're going to do is open it. And the first thing, and that's why I've got it bold highlighted colors, is you're going to select file make a copy, and then you're going to take it, and then when it asks you to copy the document, it asks you for the folder to put it in. And you wanna take it all the way out of my teaching spreadsheets folder into your own personal drive folder and save it somewhere within there. So now we're working with a copy of this, and then you can even change the name to, um, oh. So you can change the name of the spreadsheet, say to Selena's version or your client's name if you're working with a, a client. Um, that would work as well. And so say if I was doing this, one of the, the things I use in my class is a ranch name, uh, swinging, C swinging CP. So that would be like, this will be their file or whatever that I'm going to be using as a consultant. The spreadsheet, like my other ones, are going to be split into four major pages once you get past the instructions. There's a formulate screen, a requirement screen, a feed table, and the batch mixing sheet. Um, I, all of the data that I have in here is from the Nutrient Requirements of Horses, the sixth revised edition. Um, that was put together, I want to say 2012 or 2013. So the most recent information that I've got access to. And so what we're going to do is take a look at the formulate screen. And on the formulate screen, this is where we're going to do the nuts and bolts of our formulations. And so what we have is the first thing, whenever you're balancing rations, is you need to have two major pieces of information what your animal requires and understanding the requirements, which has a lot of variables that can go into play. Age, stage of production, um, are they, in the case of equine, are, are they working? At what level are they working? All of those types of things. The second piece of information is what feeds are available. And we have a feed table. You could look up prices and add your own prices as well, um, depending on what you would like to do. And so the first thing I always do is get my requirements. So if we click on the requirements screen, and you'll notice that there's 24 categories, and these are summarized from the equine NRC, but you have the option to insert some others if you decide that you have a specific animal that you kind of have a certain goal that you want to achieve, you can put that in. So today, let's just do an example of a heavy working horse. And the NRC defines heavy work as four to five hours per week, such as ranch horses, polo show horses, or low level eventing, things like that. So if you see a um, little black triangle in the corner, that means that there's um, a comment or a note associated with that. And moderate work is three to five hours per week, et cetera. So let's go with the heavy working horse. That is requirement ID number five. That's the number you need to remember and bring into the requirement ID. Okay. And what you see now is like, okay, it's the heavy working horse. So that confirms our class that we're looking at. And you should have seen the amount of energy, lysine, phosphorus, and calcium come in um, that the horse needs. And so the next thing we're missing is intake, projected dry matter intake. And I use a body weight basis for this, and you could um, potentially change that data if you'd like to in the requirements page. But say we have a mature quarter horse that's weighing 1,000 pounds, just because that's an easy number. 
then that horse is projected to need 25 pounds of dry matter, 2% of the body, 2%, 2.5% 2 of the body weight. Okay, so these are the numbers that are the percent body weight. Okay, there is nothing in the as fed intake because we haven't defined any feed parameters yet. But this is what we've used to define our animal. And so if we're working with the swinging CP um, uh, working horses, let's call it that. So these are the mature working horses. All right. So now in order for the spreadsheet to work, it's broken into two categories for feed ingredients. The variable ingredients in which we do have to put something in each of these first five slots, a roughage source, an energy source, a protein, phosphorus, and calcium source. But then we could also put in fixed ingredients. So if we were feeding um, a half pound per day of a supplement uh, for the horse, we could put that in there as a fixed ingredient because it's taking up space in the horse's ration. Now, this can be, this balances on a 100% basis. Um, I have it labeled as pounds of dry matter, but it'll be pounds out of 100. But it will formulate for you using this information. So you need to put any fixed ingredients in as a percentage of the diet. But let's look at some example feeds. First feed we need is a roughage source. So let's go to the feed table and Look, here's Bermuda grass hay, kind of the first one I came to. Feed six, let's see if this works. Have I planned this? No. So we're gonna put some Bermuda grass hay in there and you'll notice that it populates automatically once you put that code in. You are always going to enter in the white cells, the gray cells are for calculations and the red are the formulas that um, are protected. The red and gray is protected so you don't change those values. Um, we're going to need an energy source. Let's get some oats. They tend to be the most preferred. Um, feed ID number 36. Now you're going to see negative numbers and wonky numbers right here. It does not get to a final ration until you have all four feeds put in, or five feeds in this case. So we do need a protein source. Um, let's just use distiller's dried grains, feed number 12. And then I tend to always use dicalcium phosphate and limestone for my minerals, um, but you do, you can use whatever you've got available. Dical is feed 19. I should have these memorized by now. Limestone is number 27. All right, so now what you see is that um, the out of the, as a percentage of the dry matter, 80% of it should be um, Bermuda grass hay, and about 20% is gonna be oat grain. Now these numbers here will not add up to 100. They're just simply converting this to pounds as fed. Where we wanna determine like, okay, how many pounds of oats do I really need to feed the horse per day? What we need to do is take a look at this projected intake. So they're projected to eat about 29 pounds as fed per day to get to their 25 pounds of dry matter based upon this ration. And if you wanna check, what we should see here is that um, the energy requirements, 0.97, it matches up here. Lysine is greater than the requirement, so that's fine. Calcium is uh, greater than the requirement and phosphorus is greater than the requirement. But our ratio of the two, is appropriate. Okay, so to figure out the batch size for the horse, come to the batch mixing sheet. And remember, um, the horse needed about 29, 30 pounds. Let's just make an easy, or uh, we'll go to 29. Kind of round it, well, round it to a whole number. That means that horse needs about 23 pounds of hay and about five to six pounds of grain of the oat grain per day. Doesn't need a protein source, doesn't need anything like that. Just that, those two feeds are going to meet the needs. And so say we want to just bump it to 30 as an even number, five to six pounds of oats. And so if you split that into two feedings, that'd be two and a half to three pounds of oats morning and night, plus pretty much um, free choice hay. So that is just kind of a quick example of how to work through this. 
Now, there may be some classes of horses, if we go back to formulate, say we were doing a maintenance animal in the requirements um, or a light working, let's try um, three. So this is a light working horse and all of a sudden you see that they don't need as much feed, they don't need as much oats, and um, with the Bermuda grass they do need a little bit. If we did a maintenance animal, we should see that forage alone. So when this says 100%, it's not miscalculating, it's just saying that forage alone should meet the basic needs of a maintenance horse, which is logical. So I hope that gives you a little bit of a rundown on how to use our ration formulation spreadsheet.